Where are we now? We're, we're in our studio. It's just our studio, but there's smoke. We're in the nightmare version of our studio. So our just studio. This, yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Mike versus Jay Nightmare Elm Street Trivia. Not a part of our trivia series. Not a part of our official trivia series. Because we didn't want to do another video in front of the red curtain. Right. This is, <laughs> it's this a little is a, different. This is a more serious trivia show. Even though, I want to say for the record, uh, in our other trivia shows, the questions were legitimate. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But we recently did a two-part review on all of the Nightmare on Elm Street films. Uh, Jay has watched them more than me. I, I really stuck to one or two of them. Uh, but I rewatched them all before we did the, the review. Mm -hmm. So I, I... They're fresh in your mind. Uh, yeah, what, what's left of my mind. So what you're saying is this is enthusiasm versus freshness. More like encyclopedic knowledge versus... Eh. <laughs> versus you just crammed for the final exam. Okay, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. Yeah. But, um, but you're going to get through against... all the questions before everything leaves your mind. Yes, yes. But we're, so we're not going to do a, a buzzer, a buzz in thing because uh, Jay would, would win every question, I think. Um, so we're going to go back and forth uh, questions. And uh, Jay, where are these questions coming from? Oh, they're coming from the official Freddy versus Jason killer trivia game. Two games to die for. Yeah, this came out, I believe it was just a promotional tie-in for Freddy vs. Jason back when that movie came out. And I've never played it, I've just had it sitting in a closet. So it's over a decade old now. Yes. Uh, fair warning, some of these questions might be outdated. I'm gonna read one, just one. Okay. Uh, who is the only actor to play Freddy Krueger? Oh. So, yeah. some of these might be outdated. Okay, well, well, we'll take into account the year it was made. Yeah. Now, are they, uh, in that particular question, are they counting the actor that played Super Freddy? Oh, that's because true. Because the game's already a piece of shit. And in Nightmare on Elm Street 2, they wanted to cheap out. Robert Shea wanted to cheap out. So for the first week of production, they didn't even have Robert England because he's like, we don't need him. Just get another guy in a mask. No shit. Yeah. What a dumb they idea. Were, and then they saw dailies and they're like, oh, we, <laughs> we need him. So whoever that, that guy was, that's another Freddy. Yeah, so the game's already uh, flawed and inaccurate, and I've declared myself the winner. But let's begin, shall we? <laughs> okay. Who go, wait, who goes first? Do you, have, do you have a coin? Let's say... Oh, Jay won the coin toss. <laughs> Jay, who played Nancy Thompson in A Nightmare on Elm Street and Nightmare on Elm Street five, 3, Dream Warriors. That would be Heather Langenkamp. Okay. I didn't even need to read the multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know there were. Yeah, that's no, the most all, obvious question they're, ever. They're all multiple choice. Oh, okay, okay. Well, oh, aren't, there, aren't there like varying degrees of difficulty? Uh, they, I, I don't know. Is there only one question on that card? No, no. Oh, okay. Mike. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, I should put, Jay gets a, a... Yeah, don't don't forget my point. I got your point. Did you even answer? Yes. What was the answer? Heather Langkamp. Okay, yeah, 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 you know, I just gotta make sure. I okay. had to look at the back of the card to find I the answer. I don't fucking know. I, I've, I've seen, like, these movies, a couple of these movies once 25, 30 years ago. Why did you ask your grandpa to do this? I just wanted him to get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Mike! Freddy's Elm Street is located in which fictional town? Springwood, Ohio. It just says Springwood. You didn't need to get the All correct right. state. Jay, what was Maggie's birth name? Catherine. Catherine what? Kruger. Okay. Okay. And you know, you know. <laughs> That's Freddy's daughter from Freddy's Dead. Oh shit. That actress, by the way, is Billy Zane's sister, and once you see that, you can't unsee it, because she looks just like Billy Zane. Mike, in Wes Craven's New Nightmare, what were the names of the two movie crew members that died? <sighs> oh, shit. I don't remember. Do you want me to read the multiple choices? Yeah, yeah. Can I get a multiple choice? <laughs> Wait, do you, how about you get 
I got a, I got an, I got a new rule. <laughs> oh, <laughs> half a point if you have to use multiple choice. I was going to say two points if you don't use multiple choice. Ha Ooh. Half a point. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Jay now has four points. Yeah, and I have two. You have two. Okay. All right. So I'm. So you just I'm, doubled my score. I know, but I'm opting to use the multiple choice to get one point. Okay, that's fair. I got to do what I can here. A. Chuck and Terry. B. Chase and Terry. C. Martin and Merrick. D. Chase and Wes. I don't think it'll be Chase and Wes, because Wes Craven. What was the second one? I think it's that second one. Chase and Terry. Yeah, I'm going to say that one. You are correct. Yes! Oh. <clears throat> Jay, which cult film actor played Lieutenant Thompson in A Nightmare on Elm Street and Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors? John Saxon. Yes. Oh my god, this thing's falling apart. Mike. Yeah. In Wes Craven's New Nightmare, what was Dylan's babysitter's name? Oh, um. It was like Felicia or Kristen or something. I, I'll have to take a multiple choice on this one. I don't know. Mary, Carrie, Julie, or Samantha? Do you know? I do. Um, I didn't know until the multiple choice, though. Okay. Oh, okay. Julie. Yes! Yes, because I, I hear that little kid saying, Julie! Yeah. And then it, when she's flinging on the ceiling. Julie! Ugh. All he yells for that whole movie is Julie and Rex. Yeah, yeah. Rex! Jay, what did Alice name her baby in Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child? Oh, Jacob. Y yes! Why was it you're so hesitant to say yes? Yeah, it's, it's got to find I gotta, it. I got to look in the back and make because I don't know the oh, fucking sure. answers. The print is really small. That's true. That's why he's got his peepers on. I know. Yeah, I, I need my peepers. I'm, That's I'm, fine. I'm a fucking 45-year-old man. I, Deal with I it. I got to get some more two-point questions. Get to it. <laughs> Mike, in the beginning of Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, what was the kid sitting behind Jesse on the bus holding? Uh, 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 maybe like, would be like something Freddy related. Oh yeah, give me the multiple choice. God damn it. <laughs> a stereo, a lunchbox, Freddy's hat, Freddy's claw. I was gonna say Freddy's hat. It, it wouldn't be the claw, it, I would say the hat. It's a stereo. <laughs> Everyone knows you get, that. You get no points, you didn't even get the multiple choice. <laughs> I had to guess, because I didn't I remember this. I wouldn't have known this. that. He, Jay's getting the easy questions. I'm getting the hard ones. This is not correct. I think they go they go increasingly harder on each card. Okay. Well, why don't you just like randomize things? But now he knows that like he's gonna give you the harder questions and me the easier ones. <laughs> why did they do that? Because there's dice. I think you're supposed to roll for the difficulty. Do we want to use the dice? We have nowhere to roll them on. All right, we're changing up the rules here for maximum randomization. Uh, the game does come with dice, and there's there's bodies, dead bodies on each side, and I think they coincide with the difficulty of the question. So, like, if you roll a five, then you read question five. So, for maximum, uh, so we're not just going from easiest to hardest on each card. Right. We're gonna we're gonna shake it up. Is it my turn? I think it is my turn. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs> I have a real I'm good, so sorry. I have a real good feeling what I'm going to roll. <laughs> Jay, what classic movie was spoofed during the opening scenes of Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare? Uh, Wizard of Oz. Correct. That's the moment you know you're in trouble with that film. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little soul, too. <laughs> yes, I got a one. Okay, one. I got a new card. I got a new card now. When does this game end? We'll see, bitch. We'll just see. <laughs> first, first, uh, I get two points a question. I say first if 20? 80. 80? Well, it's like, uh, okay, uh, you want to go 40? Jay's already, Jay's already at 10. Okay. <laughs> Jay's already at 10. Let's just keep going, we'll decide later. Okay. 
Mike, yeah. who was the dream master? Kristen. Alice. What? Alice is the dream master. Is it dream master three? Oh, that's dream, dream warriors. Four. Dream warriors is a group of people. You think you've got what it takes. <laughs> One. <laughs> These dice loaded. In Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, what did Maggie use in her dream to see into Freddy's mind? Uh, 3D glasses. Yes. <laughs> That's also when you know that movie's in trouble. All right, I got a three. All right. In Wes Craven's New Nightmare, who was Freddy's last victim? Uh, well, there is no Freddy in New Nightmare. Like, if that's really, like, because I'm going to get technical. Uh, Hold there, on, give me a second. There here. is an answer, and it is a name. Okay, okay. Um, she goes down into the basement with uh, her son. Into the into the or, into the into the underworld with Oh Freddy. yeah yeah the underworld. Um, you said basement. I was thinking of the first movie. They're in their actual basement. He doesn't kill John Saxon, right? Oh, I'm gonna say it's probably the babysitter, um, Julie. Correct. Yes, Correct. Yes, <laughs> because yeah, they go right from the hospital back to the house. The little kid runs through traffic, remember, and then yeah. Freddy scoops him up. Is that the right movie? That is the right movie. Okay, all right. <laughs> I got, don't make, make sure you point, give me two points. I, I, I've already gotten you two points. All right. One. <laughs> Shake up the dice, you cheater. I did, I went like this. No, he's, he's not shaking it. Richie's just dropping the die. <laughs> the fucking cheater. Jay, what were the last words spoken in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare? Freddy's, Freddy's Dead. dead. <laughs> yeah, correct. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I got a one. Hey. In Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Can you leave Wes Craven's New Nightmare alone? I'm sorry, but Just remember that this is not Freddy's dead. This was chosen by the die. Can we shuffle these fucking cards? <laughs> In Wes Craven's New Nightmare. What did Chase design for the new A Nightmare on Elm Street film? A robotic Freddy glove. Yes. Take that bitch. <laughs> Take that bitch. Look at this. Look at how much I'm shaking it up here. See that? I do. Yes, he got a four. Four. Okay. Jay, what was the body count in Wes Craven's new nightmare? Ooh. <laughs> Does that include people in dream? Like, because the opening is a dream sequence, so that doesn't count. It just, that's the question. That's all I got for you. Okay. No, but those guys eventually died. That's true, they do. So two, the husband, three, the babysitter, Julie's, four. I think that's it. I think it's just four. Correct. Hey. Three. In Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, who was Freddy's last victim? Didn't we just have this question? No. Uh, that was the other movie. You will forever get those two movies confused, won't you? <sighs> Is it the hearing aid guy? I don't know who the wait, hearing wait, aid wait, guy wait. is. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, who's the girl? The um, Does she die? <laughs> no, she lives. There's the daughter, Yafet Koto, and then I think the girl is in the basement with them. And so that leaves um, 90s video game kid. And I, I'm gonna get it right if I say 90s video game kid and I don't remember his name, okay? I make yeah, the you, rules. You, you might, but I have no way of knowing. Okay, well, Jay will know. Jay will confirm. There's 90s video game kid, and then there's hearing aid guy, and I think hearing aid guy dies earlier. I'm gonna say 90s video game kid. Jay, who is 90s video game kid? I don't remember his name, but he's not the last to die in that movie. What's the answer, Rich? It's gonna be John. John. John! Oh, John Doe dies the last? Yeah. Well, I lost that guy. Got the fucking question wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pick it from the middle, Rich, so we don't get Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, and New Nightmare, and everything? I don't single... think it, I think it's random, it's, but I got, it's I got pretty five, random. by the way. You got a five. Jay got a five. I got a five. Okay. At the beginning of Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master. This is my favorite one that I've seen a hundred times. <laughs> How many kids were playing outside of Freddy's house during Kristen's Nightmare? In Nightmare on Elm Street 4? 
Uh, four. I think just one. Five. Five? Five. That's where the little girl's there's drawing girl drawing chalk. chalk, but um, there's the two, the jump rope girl, two girls holding the jump rope. There's the chalk girl, and then there's a little boy. Oh, okay. Like you got a chance to, to claw your way back. Three. Three. In Wes Craven's new nightmare, <laughs> what was the name of Dylan's toy dinosaur? I gotta take the multiple choice. I'll, I'll give you, I'll, you know what? Just, just out of mercy, I'll give you a hint. It's a very obvious name. All he yells to that whole movie is Julie and Rex. Yeah. No. Rex! Barney? No, but that won't count that. I'll give you the multiple choice. Okay. A, Barney, B, Rap, C, Dino, and D, Rex. 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 Yeah, I remember you give, I'll that. give you one point for that. <laughs> Two. Two. What did Freddy Krueger's mother change her name to when she entered the covent? Changed it to? I need the multiple choice. Okay. Uh, Sister Mary Margaret, Sister Mary Helena, Sister Peter Marie, Sister Mary Teresa. I think it's Sister Mary Margaret? Sister Mary Helena. Oh! oh. Ah! Ritz, what's the score? Uh, Jay has 16, and you have nine. Okay, not bad. Oh, four. Four. In Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, what did Lisa tell Jesse that his dreams could be? <laughs> that he's gay? <laughs> no. Something is trying to get inside my body. Is that your answer? I'll take the multiple choice. <laughs> Nightmares, drug trips, premonition, mental illness. I think I'm gonna go with premonition. I think she said that. Got it. One. In Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, what was the name of the high school Jesse attended? Uh, Springwood High. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Five? Yeah. In Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, what was the name of the bar where Jesse ran into Coach Schneider? Oh, do you know this? No. That's a tough one. I want to say the Blue Oyster Bar, but that's the gay bar from the Police Academy movies. I'll take multiple choice. Don's Place, Don's Tavern, Dan's Bar and Grill, or Dickie's Place. Sounds like his place. <laughs> I think bar and grill sounds right. I'm gonna say that one. Don's place. That place definitely wasn't a bar and grill. Well, I thought I remember thinking unless it was an odd name. Oh, okay. So maybe I was just. I was gonna say unless bar and grill is a euphemism or something. Oh. Two, two. How did Freddie's wife die? Oh, he she strangled got her. Out. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's th three people said something. What was it? <laughs> three? I know it was a joke. <laughs> She got choked he, out he in the garden. Her. He strangled her. Okay. He uh, choked her to death. F F Freddy killed her. Oh, okay. Damn it! What you get? A five. Five. The odds are stacked against me and I'm rolling terribly. In Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, what was printed on Lisa's dad's apron during the pool party? Well, typical thing would be like, kiss the chef or something like that, but I'm gonna have to go multiple choice. Kiss the cook, chef dad, dad of the year, Mr. Wonderful. Oh, Mr. Wonderful is such an odd answer. <laughs> that I, it, it could be that. I'm gonna go with that. You got it. Yes. Hey. That's the rule of trivia that I learned from the beast. Yeah. Is always go with the weird answer. One. If you're not sure. <laughs> Jay, Jay, are you rolling that? I you tell you me see? I just did it. I just <laughs> Dick, look at this. Do you want me to? Do you want me to give you five? Just, sure, give me five. I'm changing the rules. Wait, that's a new rule. Double the points if you if you pick a harder like question. 
So double the double points if I get it right without using you the get uh, four points. That's a lot of extra points. Let's say you get one. The, you get one extra. So instead of two, you get three. The rule only applies to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna say that's. Let's do that. Okay. Be, the rule will be that if yeah. We can uh, just do Mike gets double points. No, from here no. Out. We got to keep this fair. We got to keep it fair as much as I I'd mean. Like. Jay's kicking your ass, Mike. Go ahead, Jay. I'm still gonna beat him. No, right. Normal points. Normal points, but you rolled a one. Normal points, one. but I'll be happy to read you number five. No, give him the one. He rolled the one. In Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, what was the name of the dream suppressant Nancy took? Hypnosil. I yep. knew that one. I knew that one. Two. In Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, how many years had passed since Nancy lived in Jesse's house? Five or ten? I'm gonna say five. Correct. Yes. Oh, I got two points on that. Yes, you did. Because I, I guessed it. In Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, who died in his waterbed? Uh, Joey. Damn it. I was hoping you wouldn't remember. Correct. Uh, oh, 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 oh. True or false? Nancy survived through the end of Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. False. Correct. We got two points for that. You did. You did. I, got, I gave you both points, motherfucker. Thank you. I'm, I'm just checking. Four. Yes, I got a four. In Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, what did Kelly find hidden in Spencer's room? Oh, Spencer's the video game kid. Yeah. Drugs. Oh, no! Can I change it before you answer it? Mike, you're already, you know what? I'm not going to let you because you're already ahead by a lot. Okay. But you won't get the points, but if you want to just try for fun. Okay, I, I, I said drugs because he's like a druggie, but they find a pipe bomb. Yes, Yeah. but no points. That's that's fair. Kids. <laughs> Three. What was the name of the bar in Terran's Nightmare in Nightmare on Elm Street 3? I don't remember these Dream stupid specifics. Warriors. Give me that, give me that. Yeah, <laughs> multiple choice. Okay. Freddy's Tavern, Jake's Bar, Simon's Pub, Fiddlesticks Tavern. Freddy's Tavern. No, it's Jake's Bar. Fuck you. Sad choice. <laughs> I got one more tavern question. <laughs> five. Ooh, we got a five. Ooh, 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 ooh. In Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, what color was Dan's pickup truck? Red. Yes. Hey. Oh, that's a stupid question. <laughs> this, this sucks. Four. During Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, what did Dr. Gordon give the priest in exchange for the crucifix? His driver's license. Correct. Yes. Oh, yeah. Here, you can keep my driver's license. I'll be back. You made a mention of that when we shot a review, and I didn't know what the hell you were talking about, because I didn't remember that part. Oh, yeah. yeah. Two. Freddy made a surprise appearance at the end of Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, by ripping his claw through whose chest? Oh, that girl's uh, friend character. Uh, multiple choice. Uh, Lisa, Jesse, Carrie, John. Carrie. Carrie. Two. In Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, what was Kincaid doing before he fell asleep and died? Well, he's there with, he's with his dog, and he's in his room. Joey has headphones on, he's watching TV. Oh, was Kincaid like wor working out? I think he was working out and then he went in his room. I'm gonna say that. No. That's not even one of the multiple choices. Oh, give me the multiple choice then. <laughs> you already answered. Um. Jay, Jay, do you want to have mercy and let him get to the multiple choice? Well, he's sitting on his bed and he's like singing a little song. Yeah, he's And in I think his he's budget. like throwing his baseball at the wall. Yeah, well, give, give, give me the what, multiple choice. What is choice. the actual answer? Uh, you know, I'll do, I'll do it. For the multiple choice. Okay. I don't know if I'll give Mike the point or not. We'll leave that up to, to you, Jay, to decide. But the options are reading comics, watching MTV, throwing darts, or darts. playing video games. Darts. Oh, this is Joey. I was thinking of Kincaid. He's he the says one. Kincaid. Is it it Kincaid? says Kincaid. Yeah, Kincaid's throwing darts. Oh, okay. I, just, I picture him like throwing a baseball at the wall for some should, reason. Should I give Mike the point? No, 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 okay. no, no. I, I didn't remember it. I knew he was just laying on his bed and he's just, yeah, he's throwing darts. Yeah. I just picture him laying on his bed and his dog is with him. But I didn't remember. It's so simple. Yeah. It wasn't anything major. Yeah. 
Okay. I legitimately got that wrong. Five. According to Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, what year was Kristen Parker born? Oh, God. Uh, multiple choice. All right. Uh, 1967, 1969, 1972, 1976. 72? 67. 67. 69. Wow. Oh, okay. okay. 72 would be there. would be too young. Ah, oh, darn it. During Rick's dream in Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, what floor did the elevator stop on? Six? No. Uh, I, I try to guess. It was 13. <laughs> Three. In Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, what was Spencer's hobby? Uh, playing video games. Yes. I had to remember which one was Spencer. Three. Have I won yet? No, you're not even, you're not even close. Uh, three. During Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, what did Tracy do to let off steam? Tra oh, Tracy's the, yeah, the, um... Uh, the, 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 the one of the girls, not, not the Freddy daughter girl, but the other one. What did she, did she go like punching, punching a punching bag or something like that? Hold on, let me think about this. Yeah, a punching a punching. You're correct, bag. correct. Yes. Oh, yes. You gave me two points? I gave you two points. <laughs> I gotta make sure. <laughs> two. Uh, in Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, what was Joey watching on the television before he fell asleep and died? Uh, MTV. Correct. It's that guy. Yeah. Whoever that guy was that had the one thing missing out of his glasses. Yeah, four. According to Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, in what year did the courts take Freddy's daughter away? Uh, I, well, I, I can't just randomly guess a year, so I'm gonna have to take multiple choice. 1963, 1966, 1971, 1977. 71. 66. Uh, for the record here, score is Jay has 31 and Mike has uh, 19. Five. Yes. In Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, at what time did Lisa's dad want, to, want the party to end? Midnight? No. Oh. 10 o'clock. 12.30. 12.30, miss. No later. 12.30, have a nice time. Oh, 1230. Oh, that's so weird and specific. I'm yes. sorry you didn't get that right. <laughs> Three. In Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, what did the little girl building a sandcastle in Kristen's dream say her name was? Oh, um, it's the same as Kristen. No, wait, 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 wait. She, she. Hi. What's her name? Alice. What's your name? She either says Alice or Kristen, and because then she comments on it and says like, Kristen, that's my name, or Alice, that's my friend's name. I have a friend named Alice. <laughs> um, and I can't remember which one it is. What's your name? Alice? Weird, I, Alice. Prince! Yes! Yes, yes! <laughs> Oh my God. Three. Alice, I have a friend named Alice. That's it. And then the girl giggles. Yeah. <laughs> and then Freddy puts on his sunglasses. No, he says well, shark fins does, come out yeah. in the water. And but that's the scene the... where he puts on yeah, his sunglasses. Of course it is. <laughs> okay. All right, Jay, I'm ready to give you your points. <laughs> Which A Nightmare on Elm Street actor had a cameo in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, as the star of an anti drug commercial? Oh, that's Johnny Depp. Yes. I'm so. Pathetic when it comes to knowing what movies I've done. I'm sorry. I, I just <laughs> I don't watch them. Yeah, I got a four. In Wes Craven's New Nightmare, what was Heather's husband's name? Not uh, not Reese. That's that's uh that's Terminator, isn't that, it? That's yeah, Kyle Reese. Um, 
I'll take multiple choice for the easy one, one point. Chase Porter. Is Chase. <laughs> yes, it is Chase. Yeah. Now, since you only read one, does that count as a one and a quarter point? <laughs> no. Dude. I'm not, I'm not keeping track of quarter points, Mike. <laughs> In Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, what did Freddy utter while killing Terran? Oh, yeah. Uh, what a rush. Yes. What a rush. Ah, darn it. Five? Yeah. Who sang the Nightmare on Elm Street for the Dream Master theme song? Oh, I think that's, um, that's Tuesday night. Yes. I cut that. I mentioned that in a review, and then they cut it out because you said, I don't care. So I'm surprised you remembered. I remembered, yeah. <laughs> you got me two points for that? Uh, you, got, you got your two. You got your two. <laughs> Three. What was the body count in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare? Didn't we already do this? I think it was a different movie. It was who was the last person to oh, die. Oh, okay, okay. And it was John Doe. So we got John Doe. We got Carlos, the hearing aid kid. The video game kid. Does his wife count? His wife? That's a good question, because that's a flashback. He doesn't, Freddy doesn't, it just says, what's the body count? It just says, what's the body count? I would say the flashback doesn't count. It should, but I'm going to say um, with these cards, it probably doesn't, so I'm going to say three. You are correct, Jay. Okay. These cards are wrong, because his wife dies. We see her die in the movie. I was trying to throw him off. <laughs> you, threw, you threw him on. To, to cool, uh, well, <laughs> that's true. I might have said I reminded one. him about the Yes, line, he almost talked thought... himself out of the right answer, but you helped him, Mike. That was so generous. Go to hell. <laughs> Two. Two. In Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, who was afraid of bugs? Oh, um, workout girl. Her name was... Whoa. I have to take a one pointer for this. Really? Yeah, okay. I, I don't remember her name. Debbie, Sheila, Sheila's. Rick, Ellis. Okay, it's not Rick, because that's not a female's name. <laughs> Sheila, oh, what was the first one? Debbie, Debbie. Sheila, yeah, I'm sure it's Debbie. Rick, Ellis. Sheila's the, the asthmatic girl. Alice is, of course, the main. Uh, Debbie. Correct. Five. In Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, what was written on Sheila's sheet of paper? Oh, uh, this is right before he sucks her, her, her insides out. Learning is fun with Freddy? Correct! Hey! <laughs> and then for no reason, a robot hand comes out of the desk. Damn it. Five? Yeah, damn it means five. <laughs> I'm confirming. I guess I could have meant four. You could have read a four and not been happy with a four, yes. How old is he? <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, you know what, you know what, Mike? From Every now question's on, gonna be a five. Every, I know I'm just, just gonna, gonna say, I know five. everything you're gonna say. Read the damn question. In Wes Craven's- I got a bus to catch. In Wes Craven's new nightmare. I don't know it. Who played Chase Porter? I don't know. Yeah, I don't. You, to, you don't even want to try? Uh, okay, I have a 25% chance of guessing correctly, <laughs> so give me the multiple choice, please. David Newsom, Cully Fredrickson, Bodie Elfman, Matt Winston. The I last know, one. I know one of those no, that it isn't. It was the first one. Oh. <laughs> Can you say that with a little less contempt for me? Fuck you. <laughs> uh, two. In Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Who played Jesse's mother, Cheryl Walsh? Ooh. I know who played the dad. Usually you know actors. I don't know this. I know Clue Google here's the dad. Uh, I need the multiple choice. Priscilla Pointer, Hope Lange, Sally Field, Patricia Arquette. Hope Lange? Yeah. Okay. You can roll out the last two. Hope, that name sounded familiar. Yeah, vaguely. <laughs> yes, yes! All right, number five. What? What, Janet? <laughs> All right, true or false? A Nightmare on Elm Street was the first feature film produced by New Line Cinema. Oh, that's probably true because that's what kicked them off, right? Unless they had like a really low budget junk thing before that. 
but I'm going to say, I'm going to say true. Correct. So Jay now has 40, and Mike, you have um, 27. Okay, that's not bad. 13, yeah. 13 point difference. That's not bad. We're playing to 700. Okay. We're gonna keep moving. We're, just, we're the, literally just gonna keep playing until Mike wins. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna keep moving the goalposts, okay? Until uh -huh. I get ahead, then we stop. <laughs> you see how this works? Because I absolutely have to win <laughs> the silly game show that we created. One. He has to stop rolling once. I, that's the first one I've rolled in a while, I think. I think you just need to play a different game with Jay. Can we play Star Trek trivia? We did a video about that, remember? You need to play a game where rolling ones is really bad. <laughs> okay, change the play, rules. Play Dungeons and Dragons with Jay. Okay. And okay. You'll have a great time. All right, all right. I'm sorry, kid. I don't believe in fairy tales. <laughs> Uh, one, true or false, the producers of A Nightmare on Elm Street originally wanted an unbilled stuntman to play Freddy Krueger. That's true. For the first one? Yes. I'm going to say that's false. True. Really? Yes. Uh, that was the case with the second movie. They didn't want to pay Robert England, so they hired a, uh, no, like a, I, just a stunt I, guy. I heard that about the first one. I know they wanted David Warner. That's, that was proven to be a myth. Some, at least according to the internet comments. Oh. Yeah. That's the first time. That heard. it was like an urban legend that wasn't actually true. Oh. You can look into that. But. I would have to, yeah. What? One. All right. True or false? Friday the 13th producer, Sean Cunningham, directed a short, A Nightmare on Elm Street scene when director Wes Craven was pressed for time. That's so oddly specific. I know it I'm is. Gonna say, uh, uh, I'm gonna say true. Correct. You got me two points on that? I'm getting, I'm writing them down right now, Mike. <laughs> uh, three. I just don't trust him. I, I don't blame you. In A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, which teenager was the first to die? Dan. Dan is correct. Dan. Dan. <laughs> Damn it. Which company was nicknamed the house that Freddie built? New Line Cinema. Correct. <laughs> that was easy for five points. Yes, it was. I think we're wrong about the difficulty. Well, oh. I think that's been well, pretty that's, consistent. That's probably a weird question if you get randomly and you don't know anything about like the movie business. Maybe. Yeah. We, we know yeah. more about the like, studios Maybe. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, four. In A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, which position did Dan play for his high school football team? Oh, God. Uh, I need multiple choice on that one. Quarterback, wide receiver, tight end, halfback. I want to say tight end? Wrong. This wasn't the gay one. <laughs> he was a quarterback. Okay. One. True or false? I don't like these. I hate this one, too. The A Nightmare on Elm Street home video was banned in Finland. Again, so oddly specific, I have to say true. True. Okay. Finland. Interesting. Or Other than Freddy, who did Robert Englund play in Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master? Feeling better now. Uh, nurse. Yes. Although technically the nurse is Freddy. Yeah. But yeah. it's him out of makeup, so. That's true. One. True or false? Why do I keep getting true or false? I, this, is, this is apparently a lot of the ones are true or false. The name Kruger was based on the character Krug from Wes Craven's film The Last House on the Left. Sure. Okay, you got it. <laughs> They're all true now, so I'm, I, that's, I'm happy. That's the pattern, yeah. I'm happy getting these true or false questions. Five. All right, all right. Now's my chance. <laughs> We're just gonna keep playing until you get ahead. In Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, what year did Alice and Dan graduate high school? Well, the movie came out in 89, so I'm going to say 89. Correct. All right. 
I was thinking it was either that or the, the movie was shot in 88, so it was 88. Two? Two. In Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, which career did Greta's, Greta's mother push her to pursue? Uh, being a model. Correct. Yes. I have to go gnash my teeth for the paparazzi. Oh, I was going to say, but seriously, how, what are we playing up to? Do you want to yeah, be 50? Nice even round 50? That sounds good. Because you're almost there. Yeah, I'm like 40 something. I don't really need to win. I'm just playing that <laughs> for the cameras, everybody. 50 is fun. Okay. okay. Jay, you have 10, 20, 30, 46. 46? Oh, okay. oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. make it 100 then. <laughs> what do I have? Uh, 10, 20, 37. What's that? <laughs> Um, oh, I had rolled a five. In Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, what was written on the lollipop that Mark and Greta shared after their graduation? I remember the lollipop. Mm. I don't remember anything being written on it. Uh, multiple choice, I guess. Kiss me, lick me, love me, hug me. I'm going to guess kiss me? Lick me. Was say, lick me. me. Fuck yeah. lollipop. And well, he, I know that, but he there, was, he's, he's like in love with her. He was in love with her and he's being pervy. Yeah. So and he's harassing her. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. assume it'd be something more like kiss me or minus 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> yes, two. True or false? Actor Kane Hodder was once considered for the role of Freddy Krueger. False. Correct. Yes! You know who Kane Hodder is, right? I, he played Jason. Yeah. He would be too big for Freddy. Two. Uh, true or false? John Saxon auditioned for the role of Freddy Krueger in A Nightmare on Elm Street. False. Correct. Damn it. In Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, when Freddy became a supervillain in Mark's <laughs> dream, what appeared on his chest? I'm Super Freddy. Um. <laughs> Naturally, one would think like a like some, something violent. I want to say it was like a like a lightning bolt, kind of like how Shazam looks. Mm. I don't know why. I, I, I'm gonna you take. Go the, with that. I'm gonna take the multiple choice. You sure you don't want to go with that? I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> Did I get it right? It's a lightning bolt. Yes! <laughs> See, Rich really is my friend. I guess. This is <laughs> Thank you. I starting appreciate to feel that. unfair. I appreciate that, Rich. Uh, five. In A Nightmare on Elm Street, whose picture sat on Lieutenant Donald Thompson's desk? Uh, Nancy's. Correct. Four. In A Nightmare on Elm Street, how many jump roping children were on the screen the first time? I'll read that again because I think I read that a little bit awkward. I, I, I got it. I think it's probably three in that very first one. It's four. Oh. Oh. My bad. I would have said three. I think there's three at the end, maybe. I don't know. Five. Which A Nightmare on Elm Street film was the biggest box office hit? Four. Yep. Yeah. Jay, you have, you have 52. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, so so that that means the end of regulation game. Well, play. for well, because you know, for the sake of an even number of questions, we'll we'll do, we'll, one, we'll more, do one for one you. One more roll, and this is worth the same amount of points, and then we'll do the Jeopardy. <laughs> I rolled a two. In Nightmare on Elm Street Four, the Dream Master, who played Kristen Parker. This, it would be Tuesday night. Yes. You have forty-three. Jay has fifty-two. Okay, and then closer so, than I thought. Yeah, yeah this is a, uh, now this is final, final Freddy. Yep, final Freddy. Uh, where I am going, give me the tray. Here's how we're gonna do this. I am going to roll a die to pick the question, and then Jeopardy style. I guess you both need pieces of paper. You're gonna have a wager of your points, and then you're gonna write down your answer. Okay. We could write it down on the so, text function on our telephone. That's true, that's true. Okay. Look at, look at me, I'm getting all into the future. Let's, let's do your, I guess, Jeopardy, first we do your wager first. We do our wager before we know how hard the question is? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you. 
Oh, you, what what you have to do also, uh, uh, like Jeopardy, is you, what you wager is private until the end. Yeah. yeah. So okay, I'm gonna I'll enter my wager. What is he doing? <laughs> He's blocking his I'm vision. Try not to see your phone. <laughs> this is serious business. Okay. My wager has been entered. Um, my wager has been entered, and then below that we put you our type the answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right, just rolling the die. Five. Oh, no. Five. You, Does that mean each of us have to answer a five question? You're going to both answer the same of us, question. Type oh, the we, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Haven't you ever seen Jeopardy? I, I got it, I got it. In A Nightmare on Elm Street, what was the number of the police precinct where Rod was locked up? <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> we can we do multiple choice no for this? no oh this is bullshit read the question again please sir <laughs> in a nightmare on elm street what was the number of the police precinct where rod was locked up like the, the something of yeah all right, uh, well, Jay, you're ahead. So what did you, well, you know, we, they usually do this in lowest on Jeopardy. Yeah. What did you put down? I said the fifth precinct. How much did you wager? I wagered all of it. You got all of it, Mike. <gasps> Are you kidding me? It's the fifth precinct. You motherfucker, you just won the game. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. It's the fifth. It's the fifth. That's amazing. Jay, what did you guess? I, I wagered all of it, and I, I put 13, because I thought oh! maybe it'd be a John Carpenter reference. I just, I thought, like, what, in, in, if I'm writing the movie, like, fifth precinct, I just thought of that. <laughs> precinct five. I you don't can, know, I just has a- You can sounds... double check if you want, it's No, fifth. I believe you. It's fifth. I believe you. <laughs> I won Freddy Jeopardy versus Jay! <laughs> <laughs> On a blind guess. All because of one question. <laughs> It, it, well, it wasn't a total blind guess. It was like, like a. Um, like, you were thinking like a screen. I was thinking like, yeah, what would I write in a script that yeah. sounds easy to say? The fifth precinct station, you know, thirteenth. Eh, it's too obvious. Like, eh. I was gonna say sixth, but I went with fifth. I don't know why. Maybe I remembered it somewhere deep down in my rotting brain. <laughs> you, you somehow, Mike, you did it. You did it. You, you kept this game going and changed the rules until you won. <laughs> That was a pretty darn good win, though. That I mean, I'm, I'm surprised myself. I totally didn't have no idea. And I was just kind of using some kind of logic to guess something. And I pulled it off. Well, now we start round two, where we play Friday the 13th trivia. Moving on to Friday the 13th trivia. How soon after Friday the 13th Part 3 did Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter, take place? Seven years. One year. You're both wrong. It's the same night. In Friday the 13th Part 2, what was the name of Terry's dog? Mr. Woofy? Spot. Kane? It was Muffin. Kane would be a good guess, because that'd be like an inside joke. Although Kane Hodder wasn't involved in the franchise at that point. But you tried. <laughs> True or false? False. True. <laughs> You're somehow both incorrect. 